Hi, I'm Spencer Bennett, and we're back with Mandy Bogart, our local St. Jude patient, to talk about St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Mandy, where did you stay and your family stay when you had to stay at St. Jude for an extended period of time? If I was, when I was there for a few months, we stayed at the Ronald McDonald House. Tell us about that. It's very family oriented. They have park, they have a park, a lot of play areas for the kids. You have a kitchen where you can cook stuff and it's just very home-like. Because of the leukemia, your immune system was down. They have rooms that are speci specifically designed to, uh, to keep you healthy, don't they? Yes. How did they design those? In other words, what, what did they put in there did they have special filtration systems, or uh, how did they make sure that you know you did, you, the bacteria or viruses didn't get into the room? They had people that would come in and clean every day, and just wipe down everything, change sheets, just to prevent sickness in any type of way they can. Yeah, I remember when I toured Target House, they had the HEPA filters in every room, and every room had a, a bedroom where the child and the parents could stay and they could make their meals there, and it was just a, a very nice facility too. So it's nice that St. Jude provides a place for the families and the patients uh, to stay together so you don't have to be separated. Was it important having your parents there? It was, it comforted us, or it comforted me with them being there. Tell us about the prom. How does that work? They have a St. Drew prom every year for teenage patients where they'll have a red carpet for the kids to walk down. They'll buy dresses, do hair, makeup, ride them away in limos. It's like a real prom. And the reason they do hair is because a lot of the patients don't have hair. That's why Mandy's kind of getting hers grown back a little bit. So you were, last time I saw you, we went out to dinner with the family and uh, you were a little bit thinner than you are now. It's coming back pretty good. You excited about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready to have your hair back? Yes. So they come in, some of the kids don't have hair, so they will have wigs available mm -hmm. for them and they'll do their makeup and the kids will get to do the prom. Pretty amazing. Um, I hate to ask this, um, but it happens because that's life. Uh, did you lose any of your friends while you were at St. Jude? No one that I was very close to. One boy, he probably has less than a month to live that we know because he has a brain tumor on his stem and there's no cure for it. On his brain stem and there's no cure for that. But it's part of life. It's part of life. What did you have to, I mean, as a kid, you don't want to have to think about this stuff. How has this changed the way that you think about life? It's put it in a whole new respect, perspective. There's many things that I used to be so adamant about being afraid of or not wanting to do it, and now I just, it opened my eyes to what there really was. Up for taking some chances now? <laughs> enjoying life a little bit more? A little bit. Would you work at St. Jude? Say you, you enjoy science and biology, you get a degree, go to St. Jude, would you work there? I would. It's a very great place to be. So did you rub Danny Thomas's nose st on the statue? Mm-mm. No, you know, you know where that's at, don't you? Mm -hmm. There's a statue of Danny Thomas in one of the facilities, and everyone who comes in, doesn't matter if they're a world leader or the, the janitor, they will all rub on Danny Thomas's nose on this particular bust of Danny Thomas, and it's polished down, it's rubbed down so much that it, 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 it looks weird. He's got a big shiny gold nose on this bronze face. It's pretty cool. Let's talk about Miss Penny. Miss Penny's pretty terrific. Mm -hmm. I like Miss Penny. Yeah, she has a lot of fun with the kids. And she helps out a lot. Yeah. Miss <coughs> Penny is one of the greeters. Well, she basically runs the place. <laughs> She's at the Chili Center, and when you walk in, uh, Miss Penny is the first person you'll see. And we have a picture of, of Miss Penny that we're going to 
put in the video. She's pretty terrific. And you'll also hear her on some of the, the sound bites uh, that we play during our St. Jude Radio Fund. Just some really terrific people, Nobel Prize winning doctors, the leading researchers in the world want to come work at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And when a child is taken there because of their illness, they are treated uh, like family. It didn't matter what you needed, right? If, if you needed anything, they got it for you. Pretty incredible. Anything that you'd like to say to some of the people who may be watching this video or, or listening to the audio of this video? St. Jude is a really good place to be and you should, if you wanted to donate somewhere, you should definitely do it to St. Jude. Yep. Pretty easy. Become a partner in Hope. Just 20 bucks a month and you can continue this great work. They have done so much to cure cancer in children and then that transfers over to uh, many other fields of medicine, whether that's avian flu or sickle cell or any type of cancer protocols, they share that freely. They don't charge other hospitals for that. They share all the information and all the research absolutely free of charge. And it's worth uh, being a donor. So we're asking you to become a partner in Hope. We're going to put up the information right now where you can become a partner in Hope, just 20 bucks a month to help kids beat cancer at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Mandy, thank you so much for coming in. I know that uh, it's been a little bit of a drive and uh, it can be a little taxing, but thank you. Thank you for having me.